Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Stickhead Plays. My name's Stickhead and today I'm playing World of Warcraft. Well, why World of Warcraft you might ask? Well, I'm a bit of an MMO noob really. Uh, I've been playing Guild Wars 2 for a while, on and off, about a year and a half. Seriously, more off than on. But yeah, I've got a few characters at max level in that game. And after a while of playing Guild Wars 2, well, people always compare it to World of Warcraft. I mean, it's inevitable. Everyone compares every single MMO to World of Warcraft because it's, you know, it's the game changer. It's the big one. It's the, uh, you know, the one that set the standard, I suppose. And it is still the market leader. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are saying um, what makes Guild Wars 2 cool is such and such a reason because it's different to WAP, they say. But, you know, I, ha I don't have that. Uh, base of comparison so I thought it might be nice to give it a go and see what I think um, now as you can see I have been playing as a druid uh, very cool this is a worgen it's basically a werewolf <laughs> so cool uh, and a druid uh, I can like shapeshift into different forms and either be a spellcaster or um, turn into a cat and then shred people and stuff like that really been really enjoying that um, but I thought, let's do a let's play, let's start a new character, and um, the character I would like to play is a Pandaren, um, basically because they look so cool, <laughs> I've seen them knocking about the world, and I just thought, oh, I want one of those, and yeah, I played a bit of PvP my first couple of matches the other day and got my ass absolutely handed to me by a monk and thought, oh yep, yeah, that's what I want to be. I want to be a Pandaren monk. So let's have a crack, shall we? Um, what kind of colour do we want? I want black and white. But yeah, with these white patches on the arms there. That looks good. Okay. What kind of face? The fuzzier the better, really. That's quite fuzzy. Which one is the fuzziest? I'm not sure, actually. I know. Oh yeah, look at that, that's, that's super fuzzy. That's the one for me. What kind of hair do we want? A little uh, sewing needle in there, <laughs> through there like that, or a knitting needle rather. Or a stupidly high top knot. Oh, mohawk. Yeah, that's the one. Facial hair. Oh, a nice big bushy beard with the uh, dangly Fu Manchu moustache. Yep, that's definitely what I'm going for. Alright. Now this is always the hardest bit, isn't it? Coming up with a name. I've had a think beforehand. Manumit. That's a name that I've used in MMOs before. Uh, it basically means uh, freer of slaves in ancient Greek or, or something similar. So there we go. Yeah, it's going to be quite a noble character, this fella. And he's looking pretty cool already, to say. Right, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm late to the party and the pandas were introduced in the mists of Pandaria. Um, you are a panda. Expansion. Well, let's listen. Born and raised on the mysterious wandering isle. While many of your fellow Pandaren prefer a tranquil life, the lure of adventure burns in your blood. Recently, the wandering isle has begun erratically weaving about the world's oceans. The air grows cold, and your island home is spiraling toward disaster. As one of the most promising of students at Master Shang's monastery, you may just be the salvation for your people. But first, you must complete your training. Huh. Very cool. Well, how nice does this place look? Let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, that's the sea. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. So this is the Wandering Isle, the Pandaren home, uh, and it sounds like things are going a bit pear-shaped, really. Let's see what Master Shang Si has to say. Our greatest trials yet lay before us. First, you'll need a weapon suited to your talents. Retrieve a staff from one of the weapon racks below. Bring it to me and show me that you know how to equip it properly. 
All right, let's get our tutorial on then, shall we? Let's see, weapon rack. Trainee staff, that's, that's the bad boy. All right, let's equip that then. Oh, looking good. I don't know what the key is to uh, get your weapon out. Should we find out? Movement keys. They are sheath, unsheath. is not currently bound. Let's bind that to something then. What can we bind it to? Q. Just for now. <laughs> I was expecting some kind of uh, kung fu pose, but you know, never mind. That will do. Looking good. All right. Back to Master Shang Si. Look, Where you I have a staff. Pass, greatness follows. A fine weapon. It should suit your needs well. Now let's put it to use, shall we? I'd like to observe you putting your new weapon to use, my young student. This will aid me in determining what degree of training will best will be best suited to your talents. We have many training targets in the training grounds below. Practice your attacks upon them, and return to me once you're feeling comfortable with your new weapon. Okay, let's do it. This is it right here, I think. Let, let's bosh that a couple of bits. Whoa. Have some. Very nice. What are these in here? Chi. Used by monks to power specific abilities. Okay. Right, so here we go. Jab. Uses energy. That's the yellow bar. I know that from my druid. Um... Dealing 4 to 8 damage, generating 2 chi. And it doesn't look like I have any way of using chi at the moment. What's this? Quaking palm. Strikes the target with lightning speed. <laughs> Incapacitating them for 4 seconds and turns off your I attack. Do not have a target. Okay, so like some kind of escaping move there. It is good to see you, my student. The training targets are just down the hill. Come back. Oh, I haven't finished. Oh, <laughs> I didn't look at the quest text. One of five. I don't know why I need to do the same move five times, but there you go. Not enough energy. Perhaps it just wants to show me. I do not have enough energy. How I run out of energy. Not enough energy. I need to wait. I do not have enough energy. It so is I just too need to destroy away. these then. Not enough energy. I do not have enough energy. There we go. Five of those destroyed. Alright, let's go back to see Master Shang Si. Forget injuries. Not bad man you met. Never you may indeed have chosen the proper path. Hmm? I think so. And I got some initiate braces. Nice. Let's get them on, shall we? can't do that while in combat. Yeah, I'm really not in combat, you know. Okay, I'll do it in a minute then. Facing a living opponent is a very different thing from the stationary targets in the yard. Living opponents strike back. There is the very real fear of failure and sometimes even death. You must have the courage to overcome those fears. Challenge the other trainees within the temple or down the steps below and defeat them. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I love the jumping animation. So cool. <laughs> oh. So yeah, that, that's one of the reasons I wanted to be a Pandaren. Because, I mean, their animations are so cool. Look at the way he runs. Amazing. Uh, oh yeah, and I saw somebody doing this as well. Which uh, helped seal the decision. <laughs> Look at how they sleep. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okie dokie. Are these the... Yes, these are the ones, I think. Are they? Indeed it is. Right, let's do it. I wasn't just beating on a, a fellow student for no reason. <laughs> Not enough energy. You fought well. I must learn more from you in future. Oh, I don't see that spinning kick he did then. I'll have a bit of that. Perhaps you can teach me something, sir. Look, she can do it too. 
I do not have enough energy. I'm supposed to be some kind of prodigy. All these guys have got more moves than me. Enough energy. One more. I do not have enough energy. You are an honorable opponent. Not enough energy. Not honorable enough to bow back at you. <laughs> Instead, move on to kick in your friend's bum. You fought well. I must look. Oh, yeah, he said that. He said exactly the same as his mate. Hello, Master Shang Si. Nice lamp. My time is passing. Intriguing, my young pupil. Most of the other trainees swiftly. have been here for quite some time, but you are able to match them even within this first hour. This speaks well of you. But there are yet other lessons I would see you learn. There's my first level up. Level two. Didn't get any more moves, though. That's a shame, isn't it? But what have we got here, then? I can... Assuming I can actually equip these now. They look very much different. My belt has changed colour. Okay. What are we doing next, then? Every wisdom has a time and a place, and time's changing for those of us living here in Shenzhen Su. For this lesson, I would ask two things of you. For the first, I hold a flame in my hand. Gather your wits, and when you think you are ready, attempt to snatch the flame. Oh, I think I did that already. I did it without even knowing it. How cool am I? Should you succeed, I want you to then climb to the top of this temple and burn the Edict of Temperance that you find there. Edict of Temperance, eh? What's this? Discipline is not war, not a war that is won. It is a battle, constantly fought. Yeah, whatever. I'm afraid I don't have the discipline to uh, stand and read that. So, let's go and burn something. Am I glowing? Oh, because I've got the flame, haven't I? And so has Vayrin the Noble, by the looks of it. It's going to beat me to the flame. No, it's not. <laughs> right, here we go. Burn the Edict of Temperance. I guess we have no more need for temperance. Did I miss the stairs? Or did that guy just jump down to the floor? I suppose that was the uh, Kung Fu way of doing it. Kung Fu Masters don't need stairs after all. Yeah, my uh, clumsy attempt wasn't quite as cool. It is good to the fact that you were able to snatch story. the flame so easily is no small feat. The Edict of Temperance is a scroll of wisdom passed down from my elder's elders. Wisdom from a more peaceful time. Every lesson has its time and place. And with darkness on the horizon, the time for this particular wisdom has passed burning of the scroll is an acceptance of tidings to come and a promise to action. Your hand carried the flame and I suspect that it would continue to do so in the future. Sweet. The Disciples Challenge. Manumit, I see great strength and great courage in you and an unsurpassed purity of soul. The hour is young but I think you may be ready to face a greater challenge. Go to the bottom of the stairs and cross the bridge. There you will find Zhao Min Ro, one of our eldest students. Challenge and defeat him in honourable combat. And this first phase of your training will com be complete. Right, let's find Zhao Min Ro then. The arrow tells me in the minimap in the top right that he is this way. I mean, look how beautiful this place is. So nice. That's got to be one of the most beautiful places I've seen in World of Warcraft so far. Hang on, how do we get rid of the Alt Z? Oh, that's just so nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Screenshot in that. <laughs> Alright, we're back in. Let's do this. I'm done looking at scenery, Jamin. Me and you, son. Are you, Jamin? Nope. Jeremy Rowe awaits you just over the bridge. Okay. Oh, I wish I could sprint or something. That would be so much more Kung Fu. A challenger approaches. <laughs> How do I enter a pose like that? Uh, slash pose. Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to attack him then. Be a bit more kung fu to let him have the first hit, isn't it? Sitting down. No respect. Baby elephant takes a bath. <laughs> Did you see what that move was called? 
baby elephant I do not have enough energy. I hope we get to learn that move. Have I done him? I've done him? Well fought. Master Shang will be pleased. Cool. Is that it then? Let's go and see Master Shang. Oh, there he is on the bridge. He's a bit like Droopy the Dough, isn't he? Turn around My there he is. You truly impressed, Manumet. It seems certain that the path of the monk swiftly. is indeed the path for you. Yeah, I know that because I uh, picked it on the character select screen. Initiates hangouts, thank you very much. Alright, let's have a little peek. Are they any better? Oh, I'm not actually wearing any gloves. Cool, nice ruby on there. Looking good. Alright, Isa of the Tu Shui. In such a short time you've shown me that you have the potential to be a great monk. The training grounds are behind you, but now you must prove yourself by facing a far greater challenge, one that none of my students have accomplished. I want you to return... Oh, I want you to re oh, return Huo, the spirit of fire, to the Temple of Five Dawns. That's not the fire that I had. No. My two other most gifted students will help you in this task. The first is Isa Cloudsinger. Seek her out at the pool to the west. Okay. Speak to Merchant Lorvu by Fu's Pond. Right. M for map. Yeah, we don't we don't need any help on that, thanks. Map is fairly self-explanatory. Oh, so I'm here. And Isa is there. Alright, so uh, let's go forwards a bit then. And down this path. The Dawning Valley. Seeing a bit nim. People having a bit of a spa over here. What's that in the background? Mossback toad. <laughs> I just saw him catch a fly. Awesome. Some more training going on over here. Very cool. All right, onward. Stop sightseeing. Let we've got a mission to do. I mean, yeah, my other character was a worgen, and I really liked Gilneas, but th I mean, that was a completely different aesthetic to this. Gilneas was so dark and grimy. Oh, look at that. So dark and grimy. Um, like Victorian England kind of style. Let's have another screenshot, so I. But this is so bright and vibrant. I'm loving the bright red trees. All right. Yeah. This way. Ooh. A Corsac fox. Should we test my skills on the fox? Quite embarrassing, I got beaten up by a fox, wouldn't it? Not enough energy. Ah, I had him. Easy peasy. Right. Oh, I think it's down here. Here we go. Is it oh, that's not Isa. That, oh yes, it did say speak to merchant Lorvi. Shh. Yeah, and you're just standing here watching her. Yeah, that's that's a bit uh, a bit freaky, mate. Hello. I came to ask the famous Isa Cloud singer for help, but I just can't bring myself to intrude on her exercises. She's so poised, so practiced, so beautiful. Yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> you came for Isa. You you really shouldn't interrupt her until she finishes her exercises. She doesn't speak to anyone until her routine is done. In the meantime, could you maybe help me? I had some bad luck with forest sprites. Those sprites, I tell Jade you what, surface. pain in the bum they are. I came to ask the famous Ice Cloud Singer for help, but I... Oh, we've read that already. Items of utmost importance. So, Amberleaf Scamp swarmed my cart and stole most of the training supplies. All right, so we've got to get training supplies. What else? My driver went running off. What a chicken. I don't think they'll really do him any harm. But I need him back to help me clean up the mess. Okay, so I've got to find the Made driver the and the supplies. Let's do that then. Now, according to the map, number two, the supplies should be over here. Okay. There's lots of dead scamps here. I don't see any supplies though. Oh, here we go. Oi, scamp. 
Give me those supplies. Oh, I've got enough energy. Oh, what's he done to me? Oh, that was a bit mean, wasn't it? I need to get closer. Oh, a bit. Oh, All right, that's two. Oh, there's more scamps this way. Let's get those. Boom! I need a level up again already. We're leveling up fast. Oh, I got a new ability. Oh, Tiger Palm. Oh, another scamp. Let's kill him and then we'll have a look at Tiger Palm. All right, I only need two more now. Let's have a look. Tiger Palm. One Chi instant. Attack with the palm of your hand, dealing 14 to 23. Now that's more, isn't it? Excellent. And causing your attacks to ignore 30% of armor for 20 seconds. Oi, where on earth do you think you're going with that, Sam? It looked like I totally missed him, but I didn't. <laughs> All right, I only need one more. Let's tiger palm this guy. <laughs> one shot at him. I have some of that. Right, onward. Let's go and get this driver. So yeah, nice. that seems to be uh, an attack you need to use straight away, isn't it? So we want to get that uh, armor pierce or whatever it is. I am out of range. He says using something else. <laughs> Mind you, if it in one shot, I don't really need to do it. Oh, neither of those had supplies. All right, let's try this one. I need to get closer. No, they didn't have surprise either. But oh, who's this guy? Is that the driver? It is. Fantastic. All right, so that's that done. Ah, oh, that's why they didn't have supplies because I already have enough. So the game's not going to give me any more. All right. Look how beautiful this place is. Just stunning. All right, here we go. Oh, Isa's finished her um, practice. A challenge Maybe. in compassion and humility. By helping Merchant Lorvo, it would seem you have passed. Master Shang would be pleased. Is she talking to me? I think so. She's not looking at me though. Wanderer. It's a bit rude. All right, there you go. You needn't worry about hurting the sprites. They're really just living plants. <laughs> <laughs> They'll re-sprout later. Fair enough. I wasn't going to lose any sleep over it or anything, Lorvo, but still. I am an honourable monkey. You're quite right. There is no hurry. Uh, we found the missing driver too. And we got a cloak. Next one is on me. Nice. So it's automatically equipped the bag. We've got lots more space. Let's have the cloak. Oh, look at that. Looking good. Yeah, oh, look at the way he jumps. <laughs> Too cool. Okay, Isa. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monk. I'm Isa of the Tushui. Tushui? Tushui. I've spent much time in thought since Master Shang told me we would be searching for Huo, the spirit of fire. I know where he resides, but not how to reach him. The answers are close, however. Come with me to the cave of meditation nearby. It's a place of great wisdom. I will meditate there, open my mind, and the path shall find us. Sounds good, Isa. Let's do it, love. Meet me up in the cave if you would, friend. Yep, okay. Whoa, whoa! Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I might have to go on the path. <laughs> she showed me up proper there, didn't she? Oh, blimey. I wonder if we get to do massive leaps uh, when we've levelled up a bit. That would be super sweet. Like a scamp in the face, just move on. Don't worry, you'll re-sprout later. My mate told me. <clears throat> Unbelief truck. Whoa, what's going on here? Keep those creatures at bay while I meditate. We'll soon have the answers we seek. Hey, don't disturb my friend. She's meditating. 
and out of range. I need to get closer. Sam, I am out of range. Is it called Quaking Palm? Tiger Palm. It is too far away. That's a great move. So much more powerful than uh, standard jab. Obviously, I need to use the standard jab to build my chi points, which I will then spend by farming people in the face. I need a time. So hang on, that generates two chi. So I do one jab. I am out of range. And then two tiny cards. I'm only getting a tiny amount of XP from these. I guess because there's so many of them. Progress bar at the bottom there. Right, no meditation had a progress bar. Get out of my temple. I need to be closer. I keep trying to use a tiger palm and have no It's obviously something I've got to get used to. It is too far away. And oh. so our path lays before us. Done. Speak to Master Shang Zi. He will tell you what comes next. Right. Well, did you find out? Did you find out where we gotta In go? In time, all answers become clear. The way of the two Shui is one of gaining proper perspective. Through meditation and consideration, we find our way to the most effective solution to any problem. Through practice and discipline, we hone our bodies to be the perfect implements of our will. To live the way of the two Shui is to be respected, both for tempered mind and impeccable form. Fantastic. I like to live by shoving my palm in people's faces. Alright, Shang Si, what you got for us? The path is set before you. You will be the one to rekindle the spirit of fire and bring it to the safety of the temple. Ooh. This will not be the only time you and Isa work together. She is strong and wise. You can trust in her. Okay. Whatever you say, Sifu. Another of my most talented students is awaiting you in Wu Song village to the northwest. He is of a different mind than Isa, but in their differences they bring balance to each other. Ji Firepaw will instruct you on gathering the offerings for the spirit of fire. Trust in his wisdom. Okay, let's go and find Ji then. Well, I tell you what, before we do that, we're reaching about the half hour mark. So, uh, we will leave it there for today's episode but fear not we will be back soon me and manumit with more stickhead plays world of warcraft all right thanks for watching guys take care